wear your masks. It don't matter if they say we don't have to wear them anymore. I'm fully vaccinated and I got my booster shot. Wear your masks, please. <laughs> Hi y'all, I just left work and I'm literally sitting outside in the car, but I'm so tired. I just be feeling like uh, I want to just go home and sleep. But I already this morning took some meat out that I want to cook. So sleeping isn't really an option right now because now I got to go cook the meat. Oh God, I'm tired. The last like four days have just been really, really stressful at work. I feel like it's stressful right now, but in like a week I'm going to be chilling. Oh god, it's so stressful. Literally so stressful. Like I couldn't wait for today to be over. And that's how I felt for the last four days. Like I couldn't wait for the days to be over. But we're at this storage unit um picking up some stuff and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna cook. So that should be great. I really could do with some sleep. We'll see how that goes. So we decided to stop by Popeyes and get some chicken, even though we're still gonna go home and cook because I already put the chicken in the bottom of the fridge. So at this point it might be like soft or whatever. So I think I'm still gonna go home and cook even though I'm so tired and we're getting this chicken. But um, yeah, we're in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on right now. I feel like I'm so tired. I can't even really get my thoughts together because I'm literally scrambling for energy. Like I'm scraping together the last bit of energy that I have left in me just, um, you know? And tomorrow's my last working day before my regular day off. But God, I'm so tired. And I don't normally feel like this. I don't normally feel like this until like the day before my day off. Hi all, I'm currently hiding out in the supplies closet to eat my lunch, but I'm wrapping up my last week of work for now. And these last couple of days have been the least stressful, knock on wood, because honestly, I would not want for that to change at this moment because I feel like I'm enjoying the bliss of just, you know it not being so stressful because honestly i know what's stressful is like the other day the gentleman was asking me like what is wrong what is on your hand like what is wrong with your hand because i had a resident who was so combative like she's biting scratching kicking everything it was just bad so every day when i went in there i would come out with scratches as if i was on the battlefield so i was really going through it there but um it is my lunch time i have early break today which i literally hate so much because it's like breakfast it's 10 30 but um i'm gonna just sit down and like eat some crackers or whatever because earlier i had some pastry that they had and um, so i don't feel hungry so i can't eat the food that i have so i need to set a reminder to take the food back home with me so i don't leave it here also i'm gonna leave it here to eat it tomorrow but i don't really know but um yeah that's the plan i um what do i have to do when i go home today i think i'm gonna clean up my room and like vacuum and stuff like that this morning i was looking at my rug and i'm like i need to vacuum it or like change it like every little thing is beginning to bother me and like it's so irritating so that's what's up i have my huge bottle of water with me here this is my second refill so that's great we're doing good with the water at least well i'm on lunch and i wanted to just pop it so i'll see you guys later the supplies closet is currently a mess but like we had sheets here it's for the air mattress that's an air mattress we have diapers up there all different sizes this is the biggest one you know we just have all types of stuff for the people this is currently where i'm sitting and eating my lunch god this supplies closet is a little mess and we have like ppe over here so we have gowns and face shields and stuff like that especially now when we have this new variant of covid going around we make sure that we're stocked outside they have like um face masks they have some of these in some little panels on the wall so it's like easily accessible and they also have some gowns out there too but for the most part this is a supplies closet after the morning rush when everything has like cooled down a little bit so there are barely any sheets barely any of that barely any diapers because we've ran through them every time the shift changes they bring more so i'm at work and i'm working on a floor where someone tested positive Oh, they're still here. And normally the protocol here is that if someone tests positive, they will be transported to the hospital. And the man refuses to go to the hospital, which is well to me. So I know I'm not going to be going in that room today. However, one of the ladies just said that the other day she was at the airport and she called to call out because it's a, like holidays or whatever. They're not allowing anybody to call out. And she's like, yeah, I'm at the airport and there's like a lot of traffic. So I don't think I'm going to make it. And the supervisor said, even if you come late, it's okay. 
we can't take you off of the schedule for tonight she's like no i can't come i'm not coming and the supervisor is literally just begging just like back in thanksgiving we stay the morning shift and they're begging us to stay in the afternoon like we have families that we want to go home to no the lady said it's just the other day she wasn't feeling good either and she was trying to call out and they said good oh morning. good morning how are you good how are you good she was trying to call out and they're saying oh they're not answering the phone or whatever so i said to her listen one day i was trying to call out and they weren't answering the phone and i called the security and i said listen you patch me through to the supervisor's office a couple of times and they're not answering you better tell them over the intercom that Judine is calling and she's not going to be coming to work. So don't expect me because I'm calling and they're not answering the phone, but they have caller ID. So they know who is calling all the time. So they, they're the ones who are just not answering because they just don't want to be bothered with dealing with the fact that they're going to be working short. These jobs don't care about you. you know? They just want to make sure that all the time they're covered. And that's it. Luckily for me, today is my last day for maybe two weeks. So I get a little break from them and the extra shit. And hopefully by that time, they have staff. So we don't have to be overworking and feeling like we're underpaid for the amount of work that we're doing. Especially in this current climate. <laughs> As it is, my last day would absolutely have to show out. <laughs> the bell is going off. Someone has COVID and refuses to go to the hospital. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay masked, gowned, face shield until I leave here because I would absolutely hate to go home with this, honestly. I'm trying to eat lunch, but I don't even have any appetite because the amount of things that are going on around here is just blowing me. So I'm like, man, I just can't wait for it to be three right now. It's almost 11 o'clock and I just cannot wait to go home. God, literally just heard of that. The floor is currently on quarantine because obviously somebody tested positive so we have to act accordingly but we're prepared because in this vlog i showed that we do have um gowns and face shields and stuff like that in the supplies closet and the other day they had an in-service and they gave us some n95 masks just in case we had an outbreak because they heard that the numbers were rising on the news and stuff like that so they wanted to make sure that we were fully prepared with n95 even though we have loads and loads of the these little ones here they wanted to make sure we're prepared so in the service they made sure that we got and so we're prepared in that regard and you know obviously we have the gowns and the face shields and everything because look at the current situation well i'm kind of glad that it's like i'm gonna get a break because the gowns are hot as hell even though they're very important like it's very important to make sure that you're protecting yourself so that you don't go home and bring anything home to your family the gowns are hot as hell like i can't even lie so they're not the most fun to have on and you have to change it for everybody you can't go into um another person's room with a gown from the person prior so like it's a whole situation luckily for me i'm done with everybody that i have to take care of for today but um it's a little wild around here and this is not the only floor that somebody tested on that's how we found out because another floor somebody tested there and then we had to you know test everybody so we found out but it's just getting a lot of chaotic and i'm definitely not here for that i do not like the chaos so that's great i'm finished with my lunch i'm just chilling for the rest of my lunch time and then i'm gonna go back out there and see what else i can get done i promised a girl that i would um do one of her residents for her so i'm gonna have to go do that because i did promise her she was struggling a little bit and i decided to help her out because you know i was pretty much done so i'm definitely gonna be a woman of my word and i'm gonna go help her and um that should be it until the day ends we do lunch and then after lunch the day is pretty much winding down so that should be it for the rest of the day i think so i'm pretty much wrapping up this vlog thank you guys for watching a week in my life as a cna in new york and i hope you guys enjoyed the video it was somewhat insightful for y'all wear your masks it don't matter if they say we don't have to wear them anymore i'm fully vaccinated and i got my booster shot wear your masks please